J.D. Luster. Aztecs, again, have had some heartbreakers this year. I mean, they've put together a really nice season, but they haven't finished off a couple of games. On the road at Moby against Colorado State. Then last night, just a cruel finish. It really was as San Diego State loses a heartbreaker in Boise 58-57. Coach, we appreciate you taking a few minutes for us as you get set for San Jose State on Friday night. So this isn't the first time this year that your team has lost in what I would refer to as heartbreaking fashion. So how do you pick a team back up after what happened last night? John and Jim, I first want to just say thank you for having me on. I really appreciate you guys. Um, John, I love following you on Twitter. And Jim, um, I enjoyed watching John's dance moves. On the <laughs> uh, thank yes. you, Coach. We, big time. we appreciate that you saying that. Time. <laughs> yeah, but as far as as far as how do we pick uh, this team up? Um, really, this is a player-driven team. We have a lot of veterans who have been here, who have won. They know what it's like to win. It's a winning culture. So we have guys here on this team that you know they understand that that it's a big picture. They understand that we still have a lot to be playing for, and we have a a, a great group of great, of veterans that I think are mature and they're ready to go. So um, the way we do that is. We recruit the right guys, and um, I think of Coach Dutcher and uh, Coach Acker and, and Dave Velasquez. They've done a great job of doing that. There's a lot of high-character guys here who uh, come from uh, good backgrounds, and um, they're ready to go. Coach, after a situation like last night with Matt missing those two free throws, obviously you know nobody feels as bad in that situation as he does. But as a coach in that moment, what is your message to him? My message to him is that we love him, and it's just one play, and we're family, you know, and that's part of being family, being there for people uh, through the good and the bad. And and if you look at that game last night, you know, Matt made two or three big plays leading up to that those free throws that we wouldn't be in that situation if it wasn't for Matt. He hit a big three, and then in transition, he threw a cross-court pass to Chad Baker for a three, and then he, made a, he, he, uh, he uh, grabbed a big rebound to get him fouled to be to go to the line. So he made win and play after win and play. And Matt has done a lot for us throughout this season. He's won a lot of games for us. So in that moment, I just wanted to really hug him and let him know that we still here for him and, and, and we love him. He got his back. Aztecs assistant J.D. Luster with us here, John and Jim, extra 1360. Aztecs have a big game Friday night. Get to Viejas if you can. Second to last home game of the year, Friday night, 8 o'clock tip. Tickets are available at GoAztecs.com, San Diego State and San Jose State. Coach, I'm just curious because I know you've been around this game. I know you've coached at various stops. Last night's drama, have you been a part of many games like that? I mean, there had to be four or five lead changes in the final 60 seconds. Big shot after big shot. Chad Baker, Mazzara, the dunk play, the alley-oop play by Nathan, the three that Acott hit, uh, the free throws at both ends uh, for San Diego State and Boise State. I mean, how unbelievable and again you want to win that game but how unbelievable of a game was that last night it feels like we're getting close to march mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> that game was that game was a uh, unbelievable it was fun to be a part of uh credit to boise state they made the plays down the stretch to win a game that we didn't necessarily make but you know it was fun to be a part of and i'm so proud of our guys we got a great group of guys and they showed their resilience and you know they they fought back we were down by 12 at one point but you know, that's one thing about uh, the Aztecs. You know, they always going to fight. We're always going to fight to it to the end. And I think we uh, showcased that last night. Coach, Chad Baker, I'm not going to say he's come out of nowhere, but he's turned into a, a player that, you know, is being relied on for you guys in big moments. Just what have you seen with his game and, and how he's developed uh, uh, this season? Well, I think uh, – I can't say this enough about our coaching staff. We have a great coaching staff. Um, the things we do defensively, schematically, um, is very advanced. I think that's why year in and year out uh, we have one of the top defenses in the country. Right now we're ranked number one defense in the country in Kim Palm. And as a new guy, I think there's an adjustment period, learning the schematics, learning to adapt to what exactly is wanted and needed on that end of the floor. And I think that it was a learning curve for Chad early on, but I think he's picking it up. He's starting to understand exactly what uh, our staff wants from him on that end. And I think uh, the fans and people are, are getting a treat and getting to see what they can expect from, here, from him for years to come. He's only a freshman. Yeah, which is amazing. Freshman in eligibility. Yeah. I mean, he could be on the Mesa a long, long time. What a superb 
offensive player he's turned into, really all-around player right now for San Diego State. We're catching up with J.D. Luster, San Diego State assistant, Aztecs again of San Jose State Friday night at Viejas. Tickets are available at GoAztecs.com, the second-to-last home game of the season, believe it or not. Hopefully you can make it out to Viejas this weekend. Coach, when you look at this league and how competitive it has been, I think a lot of people don't realize the challenges that are going on right now Night in, night out in this league. Not just at the top. Not just San Diego State, Wyoming, Colorado State, Boise, but the Utah States and the Nevadas and I'm, and the UNLVs. And I'm, I'm missing someone in there as well. Fresno State with Orlando Robinson. What have you seen from this league your first year in it as an assistant at San Diego State that's impressed you? Um, you know, it reminds me of when I played in the league. Uh, uh, when I played, there was uh, years where we had five teams into the tournament. And I think you're starting to have that depth and parity now in the league as far as, like, having multiple teams, a a multiple bid uh, league. And I think some of that is due to the COVID uh, year. Um, Teams are a lot older. And I think, uh, you know, usually as teams get older, they become more experienced. and They usually start to excel. They start to stride as they get older. And I think, you know, teams like Boise State, teams like Utah State, teams like that have, have benefited from the COVID year, have an extra year, and been able to benefit from being older. Well, you know about Wyoming because you played at Wyoming. Obviously, you still have Friday night against San Jose State. This will be your first meeting with Wyoming this season, San Diego State and Wyoming meeting just one time in the regular season. Um, what type of challenge is the Arena Auditorium just in general, regardless of how good Wyoming is? And what have you seen from the Cowboys this year uh, that have put the, that have allowed them to have this special year? Uh, Coach Linder has done a great job. He's done a great job of, of playing to his personnel and, you know, getting Malinato and EK the ball and, and really playing through them offensively. And, you know, Laramie is always a tough out uh, due to the altitude, uh, due to the environment when they're rolling, when they're winning. So, you know, that's a, that's a game that, you know, it's a tall task for anybody in the league to go in there and win that game. But I do believe that we have the resilience, we have the team, and, you know, we have the experience where we're capable of doing it. Coach, being that your first year as an assistant under Coach Dutcher, what is, what's the one thing that you've learned from him that just like has really stuck with you so far? That's really a loaded answer. Um, <laughs> seriously, I've learned so much from Coach Dutcher, and I think he's one of the best coaches in the country. I think uh, this city is blessed to have him as a leader of their program. I'm blessed to have him as uh, my boss. I'm blessed to uh, be able to work with him every day. Um, and I've learned so much, just his, his even kill, his poise. He's never too high. He's never too low. He always has a great perspective. Um, he's big time on a, on 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 a recruiting trail. It's just it's really a loaded answer. I could talk for hours about Coach Dutcher and not just the coach he is, but the the person he is. He 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 really cares about these kids. He really wants what's best for them, and he's really into molding young men and helping them um, become uh, good citizens moving forward, just outside of basketball. So he he's big time. It's so funny. I've, I've felt the same thing about Brian Dutcher since covering this team over the last five years about his even keelness. It's really remarkable, not getting too high off but big wins, putting losses in perspective as the season goes on. We're joined by J.D. Luster. I think we might have asked you this when we had you on, I think when you were hired, but as a San Diegan who played at Hoover High and then ends up at Wyoming, uh, you've been asked about this before, I know. Uh, the three-pointer you hit against San Diego State as a player, um, which was a remarkable moment, right? At Wyoming, you guys are trailing. There's a few seconds left. You're a San Diego, and you win a game against San Diego State. How, how special of a moment was that for you at the moment and even looking back on it now 10 years later, 10-plus years? No, it, it, it was a special moment. Um, but like you said, the Mountain West, like I said, part of me, the Mountain West at that time was so good that, you know, similar to Coach Dutcher, you got to just move on to the next game. Mm. Um I've always uh, looked at the San Diego State program and always had a, a, a enormous amount of respect for the job that Coach Dutcher and Coach Fisher and these guys have built here. So it's always been a great deal of respect, and um, I've always rooted for, for this program from afar. And final one before we let you go here, Coach. You mentioned that uh, you saw John's dancing on social media. <laughs> uh, do you have any tips for him? Because he, he admits he's – he is not a good dancer, even though he tried. 
man, I wish I had some tips. <laughs> There's they, no tips. They, That's it's a they, lost they, cause. Look, look, we we got to have some one on one classes. We we got we got to meet in person. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot I have to work with there. <laughs> yeah, we got to get back to the drawing board, uh, Coach. <laughs> we appreciate your time again. Coming off last night in Boise, a lot of important basketball still to come. We know that beginning Friday night for Aztec fans, get out there Friday night. San Diego State, San Jose State, Friday at eight p.m. Uh, out at VA House Arena. Tickets to GoAztecs.com. Coach, always our pleasure. Thank you for doing it tonight. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Go Aztecs.